Talison Jaffe. Where to start? This guy is pretty talented when it comes to skills and knowledge. He's very clever, a cool guy, and just a fun time to watch and invest characters with. Talison hasn't had an extensive acting career in comparison to other cast members of Critical Role, but he's been good friends with this wonderful bunch for quite a while. Talison speaks to all of us in the community when he says, Cause I'm weird! <laughs> he's there rooting for us little guys because Tal is just a cool dude. Sorry. He's a weird dude. So of course, you take all this, mash it up into D&D, and you get Percy, Molly, and Caduceus. While Caduceus is his newest character, this video was much more of a study on Percy and Molly Mock. Two characters I've fallen in love with, watched grow, change, die. It's a ride. And Taliesin starts all of this at character creation. So. Players, writers, and dungeon masters, grab a pen and get ready to take some notes because today we're learning about how to make interesting characters with Talus and Jaffe. There, there are chaotic, I, I had a chaotic evil character in a, in a game for a while who was great because he pretended to be lawful good and he was basically like, he was, he was just this really nice guy that everybody liked and then eventually you'd be in a room with him alone and he would just... <laughs> and like, and like, I'm just like, oh, let me talk to the innkeeper. You know, like, kill the innkeeper, like, and stuff in the class. And like, we've got the run of the place. Everything's cool. There's a reason why Talison's one of my favorite players. <laughs> Now, I don't know Taliesin's method of creating a character, but I know he's got lots of thought when it comes down to it. I wanted a character that was charming, but not charming, I suppose, would be the best. There's a wonderful thing about, about characters who uh, are comfortable with people making assumptions about them. Instantly, you can take one look at somebody and instantly know they know one thing about you, and you take one look at them and instantly you know everything about them. Taliesin has an image and idea of who his character will be when he's ready to play down to mannerisms, voice, and ideals. Tal makes characters that are easy for him to understand that reflect who he is in the D&D world. This is a point I'll always stick by. Make characters who personify pieces of yourself. Tal does this marvelously. He's a damn know-it-all with facts and intelligence up the wazoo. Are you back yet? I'm ready. All right. I've got a kettle. <laughs> <laughs> And what is essentially a giant cheesecloth tea bag of raw sodium in an oil in, a, in, a, in, a, in an oil holding base? You were aware of what will happen when I hit the water. Uh, yep. Okay. Cool. Wait, wait, I grab the kettle, oh, <laughs> put it in no, my chest. I take a run and I leap into it. Yes. This is a terrible idea. Do not do this. Oh, do God. not do this. You will die. Constantly having ideas and ways to be dangerous or maybe a little scary. We've all got our demons. We don't know how to control them but we can use them. He cares about his friends, and he's not afraid of death. Enter Percy, a character that has changed, molded, and eventually ended over the years of Vox Machina. His personality is one that had an impact on the characters and players for a long time. Percy is a personified version of Taliesin himself with all of his quirks and mannerisms. Now let's do a 180, Molly Mock Tea Leaf. Weirdo, peacock, strange, gross, offensive, pretender. Overall, everything that can encompass a bad person. Racially a controversial choice on behalf of Taliesin, not all tieflings are loved by humans, and in this regard, he went all out. Molly wears the symbol of every god. He pretends to be a king and casts bloody curses on others to defeat his enemies. He can't remember his past, and he runs with a carnival. Sounds pretty f evil. This is the concept Tal runs with, someone who appears one way but his actions and true nature are revealed through play. Molly is far from a bad person, but this concept is what he ran with. How does he go about this and what does he do to make this character work? Well, that's the next topic. Talison comes to the table ready to perform his character. He takes extra care to ensure each word coming from his mouth is something his character would actively say. Occasionally he messes up, but Talison does a few things when roleplaying. First, he judges the situation. Then he begins to think of all the little ways that he could make it enhanced. So he goes through his character's mind thinking about how they would react or otherwise enhance the situation. Then, Talison likes to throw the characters for a loop and create a ridiculous situation for them to deal with, which is one of my favorite things ever. You watch as Nut slowly creeps into the room, <laughs> heading over towards Ford's pack. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> there's no, there's no liquor in here. Oh boy, I better go down to the bar. 
<laughs> what were you looking for? Nothing. Were you looking for this? And I hold up a folded piece of paper. What will you give me for it? A whole gold piece. Oh, no, something. I don't want money, I want something. A vial of acid. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It's a blank piece of... Oh, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> and then when I walk by, I'm... Just going through your stuff, by the way. <laughs> Which one? I leave. I've already walked away. I'm gonna shuffle in with like a towel. What the fuck? Hi! Get out of here! Get out of here! Talison loves to create hilarious and fun situations for his friends to react to. See, Talison has fun role-playing, but his favorite is to watch the other characters react to his insanity. He wants to pry their weirdness right from them to make them more like him. Tal has already accepted his descent into madness, and he wants to bring others for along that ride. A weird, strange journey into the wild west of D&D. Taliesin's favorite bits of Dungeons & Dragons aren't combat, dungeon crawls, puzzles, etc. It's when someone does something dumb and the others gotta do something about it, and it spirals into a massive storm of horribleness and hilarity. At the center to each of his characters, Taliesin has a set of morals and boundaries. Percy is not a good person, and Tal shows this. He's constantly pointing out that he's not deserving, not enough, and not the one who should be living as long as he is. His friends are always like, no, we love you, big depressing dum-dum. Talison, get your buddy! <laughs> but he's right. Percy is in no means a good person at his core. He attempts to do good deeds and act as an angel, but deep down, there's a murderous, vengeful demon that exists to bring an end to evil. Percy is a perfect villain in my head, at least. A wonderful character. Something that we can all look up to, but at the same time, understand our deepest, darkest fears. Molly is almost the pure opposite. Literally, demon speech is out in the open. As we've said before, Molly looks and sounds like an evil person, but deep down, he was better than all of them. Molly never left a place worse than he found it. Molly put gold in people's pockets. Molly taught not to steal from the bad people. Molly was never to be an evil character. Tal performed art when he made these two nearly opposite but identical characters that show massive personality from himself. Percy comes from something. Uh, he wants to go back to his past. He regrets all of it and wants to change it. Molly doesn't even remember his past and isn't even motivated. Hell, he hates it. He doesn't want to return to it, and he constantly looks towards the future. These two characters are two sides of the same coin that is Talos and Jaffe. A beautiful way to show character in Dungeons & Dragons. Talison wants to tell a story, but he wants his characters to be mortal. Never is he attempting to become a god or destroy the earth. His characters are very grounded in the world that Matt Mercer has created. And this is a great way to make characters because you really get to slip into their shoes when they are faced with danger or moral quandaries. Talison wants his characters' stories to feel believable, relatable, and impactful. Which is why he does one of the greatest things that everyone should do when making your characters. Prepare for them to die. Tal is not only prepared for death, but he embraces it. Death is a natural part of a story, and sure, it's a bit edgy, but nothing impacts a story, characters, and drive more than the death of a friend. So you have to roll a 10. <laughs> this is adorable. No. Why is this on me, guys? Because it's oh funnier that way. <laughs> Two. Two. No. The bullet sinks into Percy. Um, you hear the air is escape from his lungs me? as Orthak suddenly flares up with darkness. Uh, I'm not unconscious. That was He's that's dead, technically though. speaking. That's He's three. Dead. That's Percy three. Is, dead. is now devoid of life. Can you do anything as a paladin? Talison doesn't make his characters to become gods. He makes them immortal by transforming them into legends. If your friends are sad that your character has died, then congratulations. You've entered one of the greatest moments in all of storytelling, which is that that character's legend will never die. You've made a wonderful character that will be celebrated. You get to see how this affects them. You get to see how the world changes because of it and what you did and what you brought to this world with your character and what it lost. Molly said not to steal from happy people. Is that what you think I'm doing? 
No. I think you should take everything you can. But I can't steal from this one. Talison obviously loves this because he's died a lot, but Molly's death was a beautiful thing to happen to Campaign 2. The characters were too cocky and confident and lacking any form of loss. They made a massive mistake, and now that Molly is dead, the Mighty Nine are changed for good. In the words of Laura Bailey, Who can say if I've been changed for the better, but because I knew you, I have been changed for good. Death is a natural part of any life. If you want to make a character to become a legend, remember death at the beginning to their first breath. Talison is a great guy. The characters he's made will stick with us for a long time. I'm sure Caduceus will fall into this category, but I love that Talison has made a cleric. For all the death that he brings to the table, all the people he's killed as Percy, and having Molly die, he finally made a character who supports life. A person to heal the broken, which is what Tal's characters have always been. Just rightly broken. He's brought his friends onto this wonderful, horrible adventure to see where it takes them. Just for the hell of it. So, Talison, thank you. For these weird characters, for these awesome stories, for these comparisons, and for all the tears. But not just that. But for just being you. <laughs>